everyone, I'm Nimi Melvin from Nimi Sat. Today we're going to learn some watercolor techniques in this painting. I hope you will enjoy this painting process, so let's get started. So these are the materials I'm using for this painting and you can check the description so you will get all the details about the materials, okay? So I'm leaving a space at the top and I'm making a big circle here. Then I'm drawing another oval and that is bigger than the circle and also it is overlapping with this one. Then I'm drawing another tiny triangle like shape here and two straight lines for legs then we can draw one horizontal line another horizontal line here then this bird is sitting on a small wooden stump so you can draw a tiny oval around it with straight line here now i'm going to add details so before that i'm raising this line According to the picture, there is a small curve here for the head. And I'm adding a small wing on this side. So just extend this line, then make another curve here. And erase the line inside this. I'm just adjusting these shapes. It is kind of coming over here. Slightly rounded shape. And the beak is really small. It is kind of in the middle here. Close to the area. So just leave one finger space here. Then you draw a tiny triangle. And eyes are on both sides of this tiny oval. this curve and then another curve just like this and for the legs we can we need to add a little bit more detail so I'm making this line thicker with another line then I will draw one oval another oval this way another oval so we have three toes Just add one more line on this side, that's it. So I have completed the sketch, now we're going to start painting. If you have a Sharpie, you can outline the drawing, okay? I'm going to use these two brushes and I'm painting this with green color. So I'm taking this green and sap green. and add lots of water. We will do a very light wet on wet technique in the background. So one brush is for verdian green, another brush for sap green. Just outline the sides of the bird and try to change the brush in between. and can add lots of water so it won't get dry. I'm going to put some lemon aloes too on this wet paint and you will get nice beautiful result. Thank you. 
so it is kind of dry i'm still waiting because the sides are not dry you can see don't touch it so this part is not dry so i'm going to wait a few more minutes before we paint the bird please change the water and clean up the brush now i'm going to use an orange yellow orange color here so just pick one medium yellow or chrome yellow add some water just paint all these area and quickly take some vermilion red or orange mix some yellow into it and you can apply this on this side of the bird so it is wet on wet it is blending with yellow color here if it is not blending clean up the brush then soften the edges with a clean wet brush now i'm taking some brown color for the legs so i'm using a smaller brush for that so this is burnt sienna i'm going to do some brownish gray color there okay so how can we mix a gray color in watercolor mix the opposite colors i'm taking viridian green clean the brush take any red i'm taking vermilion let's see okay i'm getting a brown color here i'm going to add a little bit more viridian green If I dilute this, let's see the color. Okay, I'm getting a gray. It's more like a brownish gray color. If I'm adding a little bit more green. Yeah, I think this is the color I want. I'm diluting it with water and I'm going to go with this value. A lighter value. I'm taking this brownish darker gray. I'm also adding some more brown into it. And I'm going to use the same color for this legs. I'm, I'm going to use the same color here. And I'm going to use some more orangish brown color. Just take a little bit of brown burnt sienna and mix it into your orange. And you can use this color on this side of the head. And you can go with this kind of line, softer lines. And some lines on the sides of the neck. Some lines can go outside the border too. And I'm going to use this brown color again just to make it darker.
so we need to do a little bit more shadow at the top part of the head so that is a bit darker so i'm going to use this color and make sure it is dry so it won't blend with the orange color here i'm going to do a little bit of lighter gray on this side too. I'm adding some small tiny feathers on the top just to make it interesting. So we have to wait for this orange color to dry. By the time I'm painting this part and I'm going to go with some yellowish gray color over here. So for that color you need to mix yellow plus purple. And I'm doing a very light wash without disturbing the leg. Let's add some darker values now. So I'm going to make it a little bit more pretty with some bright orangish color. Take a small brush for all these details, okay? A few more lines. And I use the darkest color for the eye. You can use a sharpie or you can use this dark color. Ultramarine blue plus brown plus your dark color that you mixed. And just dilute it and use this color on the side of the log. And add these long lines and texture. And if you want, you can work on the background just to make some areas darker. For example, this part is kind of lighter. So maybe you can add a little bit more darker values over there. I have completed my painting. I hope you enjoyed this and please subscribe for more video tutorials like this. So thank you for watching. See you soon in the next video.